producer of this project and I also play Wur. And this here is just the culmination of a lot of talented people coming together to help me with my final senior project. We decided to come together and put on uh, what I believe is the first um, stage production of Over the Garden Wall. It took a lot, a lot of talent and effort and energy and we just hope you enjoy. No, 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 Greg. A bird's brain isn't big enough for cognitive speech. What's that? I I'm just saying that you're weird. Like, not normal. Like, oh gosh, stop talking to it, words. It? Uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, explain yourselves. And I'll see you guys. Bye. Uh, calm, calm down, mister. Whatever you do here is your business. We just want to get home with all of our legs and arms attached. This is no place for little children. Don't you know the beast lurks here? Uh, the beast? We don't know anything about that. We're just two lost kids trying to get home. Well, welcome to the unknown, boys. You're more lost than you realize. Please, we just need to find a way home. So is there a map or a city or a place that is not here you could take us to? It's not safe to travel the roads at night. Come, I'll take you to an old mill I've made home not far from here. You can rest there till morning if you're still here. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Suit yourself. You can always just stay here. Uh, on second thought, that mill sounds very nice. Can I bring my frog along? Sure. What's his name? Um, I don't know yet, but I can tell you he's not a Bert, or a Bartholomew, or a Bungle Snatcher. And so the boys found themselves at the home of the woodsman, at an old grist mill lost in time. Though worn by the years, its wheel still spins and secrets are still kept within. I found this homestead abandoned and repurposed its mill for my needs. You and your brother should be safe here while I work. Candy trail, candy trail, candy trail. Well, what is your work exactly? Every person has a torch to burn and this here's mine. I cut down the horrid Adelwood trees to keep this lantern lit. This is my lot in life. My burden. Greg, this guy sounds loony. We should bring a run for it. 
if we can. Except, he may know the woods really well, so we may need to knock him out first. Except, that would go really badly, huh? Uh, bad plan, bad plan. Okay. What are you boys whispering about? We're talking about running away out of here. You just... I leave if you wish, but beware. The beast lurks, ever singing his mournful melody, searching for lost souls, such as yourself. To help us? No, not to help you. I have work to do in my mouth. You can rest here, and when I am finished, I will guide you as best I can. Still here. Huh. I guess we can just leave. But I don't know. Greg? Mm -hmm. Do you really think there's a beast out there? Is that guy just messing with us? Yeah. I mean, he could have done away with us by now if that was his plan. And he offered us his home. That's pretty nice. Yeah! I guess it's possible there's a beast since I was a talking bird, but I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I'm a boat upon a winding river, drifting towards an endless black sea, further and further away from where I want to be, who I want to be. Oh, I didn't know that. Did you know that if you soak a raisin in grape juice, it turns into a grape? It's a rock fact. You're no help at all. Why don't you go play with your frog or something? Aw, oh, beans. Where's that frog of mine? That frog's giving me the runaround. Don't worry, second brother of mine. I'll be back soon for your plan. Where is your brother? Uh huh? Holy moly! Hot dog! You get my life! The ah! ah! beast! Stay back, boys! This beast is a oh. horrifying creature. Don't let me ask. Oh, Greg, why would you do that? That was the plan. Remember, to knock him out. No, I told you back later. Ah! Let the beast start to us with your candy. Also, give me that. You're way too young to be having it. Greg, give him the rest of your candy. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> oh, what the? Oh my gosh. Doggy! Wait, look, he spit up that rock. Now he's my new best friend. Look, hey, where are you going? Huh. Ain't that just the way? My mill is destroyed! The oil, it's all gone! Uh, but look, we got the beast problem solved! The dog? That is not the beast. The beast can't be mollified like some farmer's pet. He stalks the night, he sings like the four winds. He is the death of hope. He'll steal your children! Always messing up, Greg. No, boy, you have it backwards. You are the eldest child. You are responsible for you and your brother's actions. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I can fix it? I can't fix it. You must go. Leave here and find a town. Be safe. Make it out of these woods. OK, yeah. One more thing. Beware the unknown. Fear the beast. And leave these woods if you can. It's your burden to bear. Right, yeah, got it. And Lillian, look after that frog and give him a proper name. Okay. Hey, Wirt, I think I have a name for our frog. I think I'm going to call him Wirt. That's going to get really confusing. No, because I'm going to call you Kitty. What? Well, maybe I'll start calling you Candy. <laughs> yeah. You oh, good one, Wirt. Thanks. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Wirt. The boys had walked all through the night trying to find any sign of civilization. All they could really find was Greg's knack for annoying his brother, Wirt. As the golden dawn rose and the morning doves sang, they carried on. What lies before them on the road, however, neither could suspect. Huh. Sorry, morning. We should have gone out of town by now. This is the way the woodsman told us to go, right? Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? The past couple of hours I've been saying. Okay, that sounds it. I'm walking to be at How I stuck! Did you hear that? Uh oh. Oh, hey, look! Hot still one mile! A tail! Come on, let's go this way. Okay, let's go this way. No! Help me 
out of here and I'll owe you a favor. I get a wish? No, I'm not a witch. I'm not magical. I'll just do you a good turn. Can you turn me into a tiger? I just said I'm not magical. It doesn't have to be a magical tiger. All right, stop talking to a bush. Okay. Thanks. I owe you a favor. So, you two are lost kids with no purpose in life, right? Mm -hmm. How about I take you to Adelaide in the pasture? The good woman of the woods. She can help you get home. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Magic talking birds leading us to fairy godmothers in the... I'm going to Pottsfield. Yeah, we're going to Pottsfield. Come on. But what about my favor? Uh, I'll think of my wish later. Uh. And so the unlikely trio had ventured forth and headed towards the sleepy village of Pottsfield. The town was as quiet and respectable as one could wish for, although the residents of this town were, well, a little unusual. Work? Who cares? And this is where Junior, my frog, but that could change. Okay, that's great. How about you and I teach your brother? Mm, maybe later. So is it nice being a bird? Nope. Oh. Do you like waffles? No, waffles make me sick. I eat maggots. Ah! What? How could you not like waffles? Ah! What? I stepped on a pumpkin. Aha! Civilization, see? Hmm. Wow, an abandoned ghost town. Doesn't seem like that's gonna help you get home. Music. Come over that barn. Come on. So What shall we do with them? I'm done. Now let's see here, boys. How did you end up in this little town? Uh, well, we were trying to find a way home. We came in from the woods, we saw your farms and houses, and thought, hey, here's a normal place with normal people. And we stepped on pumpkins! <gasps> yeah, and then we heard music from your barn, and uh, how about we just leave? Now let me get this straight. You come to our town. You trample our crops. You interrupt our private engagement. And now you just want to leave. Yes? You let her it! You have no proof! This one's trying to escape! No! No! Let me go! Let me go! I don't even know these clowns! Children, it saddens me that you don't wish to stay with us. Particularly because I have to punish you for your transgression. I told you this place was bad news! So, on behalf of the Pottsville Chamber of Commerce, I find you guilty of trespass, destruction of property, disturbing the peace, and murder. Murder? Oh, no, not murder, but for those other crimes. 
I sentence you to a few hours of manual labor. <laughs> Wait, really? And so the boys and Beatrice were given the old ball and chain and sent around town to help with incoming crops. Shucking corn, picking pumpkins, and raking straw. The boys worked, and Beatrice, well, she mostly just sat with her usual judgmental looks. All the boys had left to do was dig some holes. But what for? Well, only Enoch knows. Ah, just a few hours of manual labor, and we're almost done. And then what are you going to do? Wander this way and that, through the woods forevermore? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll just stay here in Pottsville. I don't know. Why do they even have you digging these holes? Oh, planting seeds or something. Maybe they're going to bury you out here. <gasps> hey, look! Buried treasure! Ah, see, Beatrice, what'd you find? A skeleton! Whoa! We're digging our own. I was wrong. I was wrong all along. I don't know how to get us home. Quick, break the lock with your little bird feet. Oh, now you want my help. Oh, no, I don't want your help. Yes, no. I want your help, Beatrice. Your time is up. Has the holes been dug? Yes. Splendid! I help. mean, no. No! Uh, Just keep stopping! Oh, uh, well, we were digging, but then we found these rocks. You guys don't like rocks, do you? No, uh, yeah, I hate rock. rocks. Uh, right, so we were like, we should get rid of these rocks. That's a good idea! Right. Yeah, good yeah idea. and so... They left me. So, what happened to the rocks? Yeah! Oh, uh, 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 yeah, the rocks got in the way of the dirt, and we... Oh! Hey! They're all skeletons. Oh. Thanks for digging up the life of the party. How a wonderful forest. And what about you? You sure you want to leave already? Yes. Oh well, you'll join us someday. What are you still doing here? What do you mean? You guys left me. I unlocked the chain, dum-dum. Now come on. Oh. Are they chasing us? Nope. But, uh, I thought you... You're welcome. Thank you. I guess we're even now. You're not honor bound anymore. I wish, but you weren't really in any danger with those weirdos. Oh, yeah. So you still have to help us get home. <gasps> I got it! I wish that Ward Jr. had fingernails so he could play the guitar better! Anyways, how about I take you guys to Adelaide of the Pasture? I mean, that's where I'm going anyway. Why are you going to Adelaide's? I don't know. I guess in some ways I'm trying to get home too. That's vague. I don't have to tell you anything. And as our trio journeyed late through the night and into the early morning light, it seemed as if the unknown just grew deeper and deeper. The roads twisted and turned like a winding river never ceasing, although it doesn't seem like Wirt and Beatrice can see eye to eye on much, they both can agree that Greg has a knack for making the journey feel even longer. I don't know who she is or where she is or run or run or why she is, but as for where she is, she is where we will go. So Adelaide, Adelaide, come on and join the Adelaide parade. No. Adelaide, Adelaide, we're going to Adelaide's house. I need to fix that last part. That's the idea. So. Nobody's singing anything anymore. And work, come on, keep but going. I need to. Come on. Oh, but we have to do something fun. You know, we really don't. We can just keep walking silently and Oh, work, come on, keep moving. Sorry, sorry. No, but shouldn't shouldn't we just, you know, Greg, don't you want to be more like your brother? Just always doing what you're told. Just a pathetic pushover who relies on others to make all his decisions. Well, uh, I'm not a pushover. Hold on, work, let me get to my point. Fine. See, Greg? No willpower whatsoever. You need to be more like that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun. The world's a miserable place, Greg. Life isn't fun. Then I'll do what I need to do, I guess. Mm. Okay, let's just focus on getting you guys to Adelaide so I can wash my hands up this whole affair. And if you could pick up the pace, that'd be great. Right? Hey, work, where's Greg? 
Oh, uh, wandered off, I guess. Oh, jeez, and crackers! Hey, do you hear that? It's a bell. Maybe Greg went that way. Come on. I do not get paid enough for this. What was that? Nothing! Go find Greg! Greg? Uh, excuse me, children. Please take your seat. You're late. You know the rules. Once the bell is rung, class has begun. Oh, sorry, everybody. Sorry. No. He doesn't have a brain. He can't learn anything. Come on, Greg. Let's go. Oh, sorry. I'm too busy doing what I'm told. No, no, let's oh, go. Oh, no, I'm a pushover, remember? I have to do what she tells me to. Wirt, your brother could be in trouble somewhere. Hey, Wirt, hey, Beatrice, I've got some new animal friends, and I'm gonna go play with them. <laughs> Bluebirds have a short lifespan. You guys are literally killing me with every moment I'm forced to spend with you. Oh. Young man, I will not stand for such nonsense in my classroom. I got enough nonsense from that no good, two time and low down handsome man of mine. Oh, Jimmy Brown, why did you have to leave me? Oh, and now with my father threatening to close the school with that wild girl on the loose. Why, Jimmy, why, I just have one thing to say. A is for the apple that he gave to me, but I found a worm inside. B is for the loving that I called to him before he left my side. And C, see what he did, that's D. He did it to poor old D. How could I be such an emotional fool? F. G is for the gentleman I thought he was when he first said hi. H. I. J is for the joker that is Jimmy B. The man who made me cry. That's a C. And K. Well, you know it's just not okay to kiss and then run away. Leaving alone without leaving a letter for Lame Tree. M is for the misery he left me in, never to return again. Oh, what a poor P fool I've been, queuing in line for him. And R, are you the one for me? Yes, say you'll come back to me. <laughs> Why are you tempted to tease me? Oh. You, I know you have got to understand the value of a woman's heart. V, you, why not you have think it was fine to X me from the start? And why, yes, why is the question that's on my mind? Oh, why? Why did you leave me right before reaching our zenith? One is the number of men I've loved, and two is the times I'll say it's you, it's you. Three is the number of days you've been gone, but it feels like four times two. And eight, at the hour the sun goes down, I remember life with you around. I wish I had nine lives like that one. Oh. <sighs> Woof, that lady's got some baggage. Good man, go to the dunce box. Oh, okay. Hey, dunce, this is dreadful. Oh, glad you feel that way. Oh, meal time already. Well, come along, children. Yeah, but 
just what I've been paying for. We just wanted to have a little fun. I didn't invest in this school for fun. I thought we were trying to do important work here, trying to teach animals how to count and spell. Oh, Father, please don't close down the school. It won't happen again. I should say it won't. This is all coming with me. Now, send them to bed. Well, you heard the children off to bed. <laughs> world and make it a better place. I just made everything worse. Okay, Bert, I'll admit it. You seem like a pushover, but deep down in your heart, you're a stubborn jerk! When are you going to give this up? Maybe never. Maybe I'll never give it up. <sighs> Bert's right. Never give up. Come on, Bert. Let's go save the day. Okay, if you say so. What's the plan, right? Oh, who would have thought teaching a primer school for animals was a bad idea? My life savings, my home, everything I had went into that dear, dear school. And now I'm forced to sell all these instruments just to keep it open. All the while that loathsome Jimmy Brown is off there gallivanting who knows where. Not to mention that wild gorilla on the loose. If only something would go right. Okay, he's asleep. Let's go see him stop. The instruments have been stolen! What is this? It's a bigger culture for the school. Isn't it grand, Father? All these fine people get out of the goodness of their hearts. Not like my Jimmy Brown. <laughs> so as I could finally buy you that wedding ring. But when I got stuck in that dang gorilla mask, everyone was too doggone scared to help me out. Oh, Jimmy. Darling. Oh. Oh. I guess the world is as sweet as potatoes and molasses. <laughs> Want me to tell Greg it's time to go? No, let him have his fun. And work. Yeah? Tie your shoes. And so, after a joyful day of music and gorillas, the trio continued on their journey, hoping to make it to Adelaide. As the hours grew long and the journey tiresome, Beatrice realized she didn't know where they were. Maybe they took a wrong turn here or there, but now they are once again lost. And this time, they stumbled upon an old tavern in the middle of a field, and a storm was approaching, so they needed to seek shelter fast. Though, this tavern seemed to hold many secrets. Uh, this place is creepy. Uh, how about you guys go get directions? I will wait outside. Wait, I don't want to be outside by myself. Just go inside. Uh, okay, but you're asking for directions. Okay, fine, yeah, I'll do everything. Bert, I'm hungry. Not now, Greg. Mm -hmm. You stay here. I'll go get some food. Well, hey there, Peach Pot. What's that bird doing here? Oh, it's a... I'm Beatrice. These two sweet kids and I got a bit lost in this. No, oh, no. No birds allowed in my tavern. No, bluebirds allowed in my Oh, it's a bad omen when a bluebird comes through your door. Lady, bluebirds for good luck. We bring joy out. Good luck, bad luck. I don't need any of it. Curse you, lady. Curse you. You'll die someday and I'll laugh. Laugh. Oh, oh. Forget this. I'm out of here. Twerk, get directions. Well, no. Just do it. And you? What are you doing bringing bluebirds and bad luck into my tavern? I'm Bert, and this is my brother Greg. This is my frog. We're in Washington, but that could change. Well, that's great, but who are you? I'm Bert. I'm just a guy. Uh, what do you mean? Well, he's the toy maker. She's the baker. We got a midwife, a master, an apprentice, a tailor, and I'm the... 
And I'm the tavern keeper. So who are you? I'm hungry. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like labels. I'm just sort of myself, you know? Maybe he's simple. No, just lost. See, we were trying to get to- I'm the highway man. Oh, okay. Good to know. Anyway, so we- I'm the highway man. I make ends meet, just like any man. I work with my hands, you cross my paths. And I'll knock you out, drag you off the road. Steal your shoes from off your feet. I'm the highway man, and I make ends Stay out of trouble. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Um, you... I'm the highway man. Yes, you are. Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh. Thank you. Um, excuse me. I was wondering if you knew the way to. Well, her name is Adelaide and. Oh, it's a girl you're after, huh? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Yes, but... You know, you're not as simple-minded as everyone here thinks you are. Everyone thinks I'm simple? You're the young lover! Young lover? No, no. No, no, see here, I... if you want to get this Adelaide girl, here's what you need to do. Oh, no, no. I really just need to try Oh, no, 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 you're going to do me, okay? Write a loving letter, boy, that suits and sweeps and curls. Collect your purse, it's just the thing to help you win your girl. But then you'll need to dress and smile. Oh. Say, let's see my chance. Oh. She'll strip your trousers, pull your belt, and then bind your toy brands. Your shoes, my goodness, how they're worn. But you're too young to know. Nothing courts a woman's storm, oh. women's scuffs upon the toe. The god will get it, and it happy while he was there. Yeah. The bank will have it, yeah, you have the good to say. I did. The bride, of course, she'll need a dress on that. We must agree. Seems she's playing the lover, how great will she be? The rings my love did I forget? No, that's my favorite part. The jewels, the whole romantic mess. Now that's the jeweler's art. So you see, our heavy work is yours if you're inclined. But our livelihood is fixed, so don't go and take your mind. I did the young day, but every time I find my day. Turkey and cranberry sauce? No, a pilgrim, a traveler on your sacred journey. You're the master of your own destiny, the hero of your own story. Oh, pilgrim. Tell us your feats, pilgrim. What yeah. other challenges have you overcome? Oh, no. One time, work fell on a gorilla. Ooh. And he helped me find his frog. Oh. oh, and I met this helpful woodsman who gave me the directions to go to avoid the beast. <laughs> Oh, you guys are the beast too? Oh, we know all about the beast, Pilgrim. He lurks out there in the unknown, seeking those who are far 
far from home, hoping never to let you return. Your will begins to spoil, he'll turn you to a tree of oil and use you in his lantern for to burn. Oh, 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 lantern? The woodsman's the one with the lantern, not the beast. Pilgrim, he who carries the dark lantern must be the beast. Uh, no, 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 no. The woodsman's a good guy. He, he told us which direction to go to avoid the beast. And now you're more lost than ever before, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, hey, can you guys give us some directions? Our friend Beatrice is trying to take us to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. She can help us get home. You don't need directions, Pilgrim. You just follow that compass that's inside your heart. Oh. Silence, boy! I think we need directions. <laughs> Beatrice! Oh, word, that's what I forgot to tell you. Beatrice went to look for the woodsman. The woodsman? Well, go! Save your friend, Pilgrim! Go! Right. No. And with newfound confidence, Wirtz and Greg sprinted into the woods, hoping to find their lost friend. The woods grew dark and thick as they soon became deep within the beast's domain. Beast, we must be close. Work. I'm scared. Me too. But we need to find Beatrice. Halt! Uh, I'm Mr. Woodsman. I told you to leave these woods. Beatrice, you're turning her into an Edward tree. You were the beast all along. Greg, get Beatrice! No! What? Uh, what are you boys doing? The beast is upon you! Uh, oh no! You're running out of oil, Woodsman. Why not let you hold the lantern for a while? Stay back, beast! I fought you for the lantern before, and I'll fight you again. No need for violence, Woodsman. But be sure to keep it lit, or else your daughter's flame will go up the fruit. No. Which direction did those choose? You leave those children be! <laughs> beast? The boys took care of Beatrice through the night as she finally came to and slowly recovered. In all of her panic, she had flown right into a tree and knocked herself out. After finally securing directions, the trio headed to their next destination, the mansion of Quincy Endicott. Hey, Bert. Who's this horse again? Oh, that's Fred. He gave us directions. Nice to horse your acquaintance. He talks? <laughs> yes, team! That's my train! Quincy and the cops help team! Your tea sounds good! Ugh, never touched this stuff myself. Well, we need to get her. Yes! It's all for the money! Who oh, the money takes away from the troubles the deep, soul-crushing loneliness. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The more money I make, the bigger my mansion gets! And the more loss I feel. Ah, yes, well, sometimes my mansion gets so big, I, I don't know where I am, or who I am. Yeah, well, I'm glad your nephews here were able to pay you a visit. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yes, a, a perfect pleasure to have somebody. Yes, a perfect pleasure. Perfect pleasure indeed. A perfect pleasure. Per oh, yeah, a perfect, perfect pleasure. pleasure. Oh, perfect. perfect pleasure. Why are you pretending I'm this guy's nephew? We need money. 
You're scamming him? I was thinking more like flat out stealing from What? Them. Why not? You already stole the horse. No, we did not. Fred's a talking horse. He can do what he wants. I want to steal. You guys are bonkers. Well, if we're going to Adelaide's, we need two cents. Well, you guys do what you need to, but two cents? Only two cents? Yeah, we need two pennies to take the ferry to Adelaide's pasture. Huh. Come, my friends. Let us retire to the parlor to enjoy my unnecessary excess of wealth and luxury. Well, maybe he has some loose change. He wouldn't mind us taking it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Woo! Behold! The majesty of the realm. Who was that? What's wrong, Lucky? Your forehead's all sweaty. Oh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm just a bit, bit, bit nervous. <laughs> How come? Well, well, maybe it wouldn't be nice to talk to someone. It all began when I was exploring my large and labyrinth-like manner. And I came across a wing of the house I don't even remember building. Isn't <laughs> <Just> that funny? <laughs> Must have been the old one. Uh, but, but it was lit in a rather sort of eerie light. Then I kept going and I saw a painting of the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And that's when things took a rather strange turn. From then on, I was obsessed with the woman in the painting. She c c c c consumed my every thought. I had fallen in love with her. A ghost! Oh, I must sound crazy. Perhaps it's time for you all to leave my treasure-filled home. No! Yeah, Unky, I want to see the ghost. Oh, how I long to see her again. As well, yes. To the painting! Well, well, well yes, yes, uh, to the painting! <laughs> Come along, boy. Frank, you go with him. Buy me some time. Hey, well, I got it. Well, nephew, I I'm frightened. Of a ghost? Ghosts are just floaty things. No, not frightened of the ghost. But, but what, if, what if there is no ghost? What if I'm on the br brink of madness? Oh, thank you, Dr. Right. Come along, boys, back to the parlor. The parlor? Uh, why would anyone want to go to the parlor? And there's nothing in the parlor, especially nobody after your money. Yeah, no giving up now, old man. It's got to be a ghost. But, but how can you be so sure? Because I really, really want to see a ghost. Okay. I, I think they're gone. Beatrice, are you still there? Yes, smart pants, I'm still here. Still looking for some change. I, I can't see anything in here. Besides, I don't think these coats have pockets. Check the lining. See if somebody sewed some money into the fabric. Nope. Do people really do that? Well, I've done it on my clothes. You wear clothes? Oh, oh, like a little bird vest or something? Or when I was clothes? when I was human, fool. You used to be human? Did I know that? I don't think I knew that. Jimmy Cricket, let's just focus on finding some coins, all right? Open the door. Oh, okay. Ah. Ah. It's stuck. Well, guess we'll have to spend some quality time together. Help! Help! Here, sit down. Greg and Quincy should be back any moment and they can let us out. Fine. So, how did you become a bluebird? What's that? Hey, don't change the subject. Well, there's a breeze coming out of there. What? Whoa! A secret entrance. Now, 
about your dark secrets. Hey, how about you just tell me some of your dark secrets instead, huh? Uh, my secrets aren't too secret. Is there a light over there? Now who's avoiding the question? You. Ugh, fine, I threw a rock at a bluebird and it cursed me and my whole family, and now we're all bluebirds. Happy? Now you go. Your whole family? Yeah. Is that why you're going to Adelaide, to fix things? That was the plan, but... Yeah, that was the plan. You'll all work out. All I know is that I'm, I'm never going back until I can turn them human again. I'd do just about anything for that. Well, my turn, I guess. Okay, it's weird to admit it, but... I have a crush on this girl. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's all? And I think about her a lot, and I play clarinet. Word, you gotta be kidding me. And I secretly whisper poetry to myself in my room at night. Word, those things aren't weird. Those are just... Well, the poetry thing is kind of weird. But those are just character traits. You played clarinet? Uh, sort of. What else do you do? I, I don't know. Uh, hey, does this room seem different to you? Uh, how so? It's like French Rococo style. That doesn't seem in line with Endicott's Georgian sensibilities. How? What? Uh, am I not supposed to know that sort of thing? Endicott probably just built it without thinking, right? Maybe. Unless. Whoa. What if the ghost Endicott was talking about was really just... Come on, Beatrice. This is the chamber of my one true love, and here she stands, hovering above us like the blinding sun. No ghost. No ghost. That I am! A violent struggle. What are you implying, my equine friend? Uh, nothing, nothing, just a... And because a crazed lunatic who did away with the lady in the house and is pretending to own the place! Who do you think you are, making such accusations in my house? Do you know what I've done for this money? What these filthy hands have done for this money! Please, please, I'll never steal again, I swear! I'll get an honest job! And what say you, nephew? Um, I'm confused. <gasps> stay, stay back, spirit! Torment me no longer! Oh, oh. Mr. Endicott! What do you want with me, spirit? Spirit? But yours a ghost. Oh. My, my lady, I can assure you I'm flesh and blood and I welcome you into my home. Your home? Good sir, you're in my home. The impossible! I am Marguerite Gray and I've lived in this home for the past ten years. Marguerite Gray? Of the Marguerite Gray Tea Company fame? Well, I can assure you that this is my home, Quincy Endicott Estates. Quincy Endicott? The world-renowned tea salesman? Your guys' mansions are so huge, they're actually connected. So you mean that this beautiful ghost was really just... That dashing specter was really just... My, my business competitor! Oh! 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 oh, joyous day! Gregory, my boy, you really helped me face my fears. I can't thank you enough. You're a good boy with good sense. Take this penny and start your fortune. And here's one for me as well. Oh, nice. Now we can take the ferry to Adelaide. Well, guys, I think it's time to go to Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. And you, my equine friend, how would you like a Good honest job as our new tea horse. Oh really? You mean it? Of course! Well, that's that.
Well, off you go now. To the loo. Salute. And don't forget to buy in the cut bread tea. Hey, Word, you did good back there. Yeah? Yeah. You got a lot more going for you than I thought. Thanks. You got a lot more going for you, too. Greg, <laughs> why'd you throw our pennies into that pond? Because Uncle Endicott take me all wrong. I ain't got no sense. No sense at all. And with Greg having thrown their coins into the pond of Endicott Estates, the trio had to continue their journey on foot. Although this added extra time to their journey, the trio seemed to be in high spirits, knowing their journey was almost at an end. Ah, only one day to Adelaide. The journey is finally over. Pretty soon I'll have to worry about that beast or that woodsman or whatever, and pretty soon you won't have to worry about us, huh? Mm -hmm. Must be pretty happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You all right? You seem uncharacteristically wistful. Hmm? What? Oh, sorry, just thinking. Oh, we're going to the pastor to meet Adelaide and ask her if she has a way to send us back where we came from. I don't know if she is or how she is or why she is, but as for where she is, she is where we will go to Adelaide. Adelaide! Come on, join me, Adelaide. Hey, Greg, hmm? what's with Beatrice? I don't know. What's with George Washington being naked? What? He's never had anything nice to wear. He's an outcast, and he's cold. Feel what? these cold feet. No, he's supposed to be cold, Greg. He's a frog. But he's our frog. Oh, he's not my frog. Or she's not my frog. We don't really know its gender. Come on, George. You're a manly frog, and you need some socks. Huh. The sun's already setting. How much further do I have late house? It's... We should probably just go sometime tomorrow. We wouldn't want to bother her too late, you know? Well, what are we supposed to do until then? We can just camp out here. Greg, go find us some logs. Yeah, come on, Mr. President. We have logs and socks to find. <laughs> See if you can't find something for you and your brother to eat. Well, what are you going to eat? I saw some maggots crawling around. I'll be fine. Oh, right. Gross. Yeah. So, tell me more about this crush you have. Oh, that. I think I've said enough. Oh, come on. You haven't even told me anything. What's her name? Uh, it's Sarah. That's a nice name. What's she like? Like? I, I don't know. She's like Sarah? Word. Have you even spoken to this girl? I have. A few times in algebra class. One time, I borrowed a pencil, and our hands accidentally touched, which was nice. I mean, I let go as quick as possible so she didn't think I was doing it on purpose or anything. <laughs> yeah. Smooth. I got logs! And socks! What? What? How? I don't want to know. You're going to look so manly with these bad boys on. So, have you tried courting her yet? Courting? Oh, you mean ask her out. Um, once, kind of. I, I, I mean, one day I finally decided to just go for it. You know, I had this big speech plan, I dressed extra nice, even borrowed my stepdad's cologne just to really seal the deal, you know? Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, I go to school, finally talk to Sarah, like really talk to her, and then Jason Funderburger comes out of nowhere and whisks her away. Ah, oh, Jason Funderburger, that guy. <sighs> Plus, Greg was there and he would have embarrassed me even more. Wirt, it sounds like you're a real loser back home. Oh, thanks a lot. I mean, compared to here, here you're like a hero and stuff, right? Am I? I wouldn't say hero. Can I be a hero too? Of course, you're both heroes. I mean, if I were you guys, I wouldn't even want to go home. Well, you can't just stay here forever. Why not? Why not? Because I can't. Because I, I need to... Maybe it is best to just stay here. Great! Then it's agreed. We're not going to Adelaide's. Good night, Bart. Oh, okay. Uh, good night, Beatrice.
Beatrice? Great. Wake up. Beatrice took off. Come on. Come on, Greg. Uh, Beatrice flew off into the night, flying fast and hard. Wirt and Greg followed suit, unaware of why their friend had suddenly abandoned them. Beatrice, however, knew exactly where she was going and why. She was off to the house of Adelaide of the Pasture, the good woman of the woods. There was business that needed attending and deals that needed renegotiating. Close that door! You just want to get the cold. We need to talk. I found two brothers lost in the woods, but I can't give them to you. They need to go home. Well, I'll bring them wonderful home for them. Yes, that's what you said, but... Oh, but Beatrice, can't you see that I'm, I'm old and I'm, I'm sick? <coughs> I need help. I need a child servant, Beatrice. Servant? I, I thought you just wanted some yard work done. Our arrangement was for you to bring me the child servant, and I take the scissors, and I snip, snip, snip away your wings and make your family human again. What if I became your servant? I mean, you can turn me into a human, can't you? Well, the scissors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll, I'll take the scissors, and then I'll go help my family, and then, then, um, I'll turn into a... Uh, I need a... I need a... Oh, 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 What's going on? Adelaide? Welcome home, children! <laughs> you should be here right now! Uh, Beatrice, I thought we were friends! Now they are mine! <laughs> and once I feel that they cotton and wool, I'll be just like my little sheep who do whatever I command. All along you were taking us to this crazy lady? I feel it's she commands that dark voice of the night, King of the Dark. Figure it out on my own. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm glad you have a plan. Hey, where, what is the plan? Because you're not giving any details, so it's kind of hard for me. Greg, to, and to, I do have a plan. And if you don't want to follow me, you don't have to. If you want to go look for Beatrice, you can. You can do anything you want to. Anything? That's a lot of power. Whoa. Oh, oh no! Did I knock that tree down with my powers? I'm sorry, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The tree came out of nowhere. Boy, from here it looks like axe Someone chopped this down. Indeed! Oh, twas I! Greg, run! Wait, listen! The beast is knows your presence. Yeah. He's ready to take you into his dark clutches. But you must keep hope. Fall ill or lose hope and you'll fall right into his crooked hands. <laughs> no! Children, please! The beast is upon you! Woods. We should talk. Your clay could have cost us both. We're lucky the boy had the pluck to vest you. Don't you care about keeping the lamps in late? Don't you care about your daughter's soul? One cannot trade the souls of children as if they were tokens. There must be another way. No, there is no other way. There is only me. There is only the force and there is only surrender. not any closer to getting home. I just don't know what I'm doing out here anymore. Well, that's okay. You have a plan, remember? I lied. Ah, oh, come on, Captain. We can do it. We'll do it together. Home. Home. 
Mom? Where are you, Mom? It could be around any corner. Greg, please stop. Hey, Captain. Do you hear that singing? I'm not talking to you, Skipper. I'm talking to the Captain. Hey, Captain. Do you know who's singing? I don't know much of anything anymore. Oh. Did you know that dinosaurs had ears, but everybody forgot because dinosaur bones don't have any ears? Um, um, uh, it's No, Greg. I didn't know that. Well, that's because it's not true. It's a rock fight! Greg, can we just admit that we're lost for good? Can we just admit that we're never going to find our way home? Can we do that? We are but wayward leaves scattered to the air by an indifferent wind. Can we just admit that? Can we? Bert, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. That's what the old people say. If you feel down, just sing a song. Oh, potatoes and molasses. Greg! Oh, you, want to you need to stop acting ridiculous all the time. You know why we got lost in the first place? It's because you were goofing around getting us into trouble as you always do. Really? It's my fault? Yeah. So it's not my job to get us home anymore. I'm done. Oh. Are you saying I should be the leader? I don't care what you do. Well, if I'm the leader, what are you going to be? I'll be asleep. Oh. Well, I better take a nap, too, so I can think of a good way home. Thanks for trusting me, Work. I won't let you down. I'll be a good leader. Star, star up in the sky, guide my dreams with light that shines. Help me know just what to do to get work home and also me too. And if you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear.
What do you wish for most of all? Well, I'm supposed to be the leader and help me and my brother get home, but I don't know how. Do you know? Of course. If you wish, I can certainly send you home. Great! I'll go get work! I'm sorry, Gregory, but Wart cannot go with you. He is too lost. But anything's possible if you put your mind to it, right? Right now, the Adelwood tree grows around him. The beast has claimed him already. Oh. Oh, I should have been leading better. I was goofing off like I always am. Isn't there anything I can do? I'm sorry, Gregory. Wart's fate lies solely with the beast now. Then I know what to wish for. Are you sure? Then it shall be done. Hey. Hey, work? Shh. I'm trying to sleep. Okay. You sleep. Um, I'm sorry I got us lost, work. Can you take care of Ronald for me? Okay. Um. I have to go now. Yes. Come, Gregory. There's much to be done. And then you're supposed to be home, right? Of course. We made a promise. Craig? Craig? Oh no. Where'd he go? Craig? Craig? Oh, what did I do? Where's Greg? Wurt? 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 The angels have gone. The sun's Sarah. Why can't I just talk to you? Why does everything have to be so complicated? That Jason Thunderburger hadn't gotten in the way. Ah! You know what? No. I'm not going to get in my own way. Still the haunted ruins Into the unknown. Jason Funderburger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay, Wirt? Uh, yeah, everything's Jason Funderburger. What? Uh, Jason. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye! Is the dove never to meet the sea for want of the odious mountain? Hey, so... Frog hunt? I 
heard some riveting around. I think it might be the last frog of the season. No. I just want to wallow in my misery. Sarah and Jason Funderburker? Ah, that guy's got his act together. He's the total package. I can't compete. Oh, you're the total package too, Wirt. I'm sure she's really gonna like your tape. The tape? We never got the tape back. I can't let her hear that tape. Why not? That tape has poetry and clarinet on it, Greg. Poetry and clarinet. Sarah and Jason Funderburger are gonna start dating and they'll sit there and they'll listen to it and laugh and laugh well, and laugh. Why don't you ask Sarah out first? No, 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 no. Why did you have to take the tape, Greg? My life is crumbling all around me. Okay, okay, I think we need to put our frog hunt on hold and go get that tape back. We can't, they would have left by now. Didn't they say something about a party? The Halloween party, yes! Come on, Greg. Okay. Alright, let's go get her. Yeah. Get him! No, 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 not like that. Just go get the tape. Yeah, let's go in after her. Oh, we can't. I wasn't invited to this party. Oh. I'll go. You weren't invited either. Oh. Mm-hmm. Great. Uh, hey, guys, I, I don't know what he was saying. You just ignore him. And... What's up? What's up? Hey, well, uh, so see you I'm around. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, Wirt! I was just asking if you made it. I'm glad to see you. Oh, wow. Uh, we're going to the graveyard later. Oh, are you guys gonna do anything there? Oh, you know, just hang out and drink age-appropriate drinks. Like juice? Yeah, whatever. Age-appropriate and totally not illegal. You should come. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Sarah. Are you ready to go? Mm. Hey. Jason Funderburger. Oh, hey, Wirt. Let's go, Sarah. You coming, Wirt? No, you have fun with Jason Funderburger. Well, if you change your mind, you should totally stop by. Bye, Wirt. Sayonara, Funderburger. See you later. Hopefully. Did you get the tape? Oh, no, not again. Come on, Greg, we gotta go to the graveyard. Stay here. And he kept getting closer and closer. Ew. You can stop touching my hand uh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can hold my hand, Thunderburger. I don't mind. Go, Greg. Do it. Okay. <laughs> hey, isn't that Wirt's little brother? <laughs> oh, I'm the headless elephant. <laughs> hey, is, is Wirt here too? Yeah, he's over there. What are you doing over there, man? We can see you. Uh, hey, guys. I was just looking for... Greg wasn't spying on anybody. Uh, Greg, What's I... What's going on here? Is this some kind of witch's guy? You're all under arrest. Uh, 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 guard him all. Come on. Trying to get me to join marching band. All I can have you join marching band, you can hang out with Sarah. 
that ship has sailed too, thanks to you messing that up, Greg. Hold <gasps> well, that thought, Greg. What are you doing? I found a good luck frog! I named him for good luck. I don't want anything to do with you or that frog. Okay, I'll name him myself. winds and falling snow, Beatrice nursed Wirt back to health. He had been out for quite some time, and Greg was still nowhere to be found and already deep into the beast's dark plan. The boys had finally reached the unknown, farther from home than they could have ever realized. Oh, please, 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 wake up! You've got to wake up! Beatrice? Wirt, you're awake! Oh. I thought you were gone for good! Oh. Where's Greg, Beatrice? I don't know. I've flown everywhere, but I can't see anything. The storm is too rough. I gotta find him. You're still hurt. You need to lie down and rest. He wouldn't give up, give up on me. I can't give up on him. You'll freeze to death out there. You'll be no good to your brother dead. I wasn't any good alive to him either. Then I'm coming with you. We got ourselves into this mess and we can get ourselves out of it. Have you brought for me the golden comb? Oh, um, will this work? This is a honey comb. Golden comb of honey. <laughs> Never mind that, Gregory. You brought for me the first two weapons. A golden comb and a spool of silver thread. It's just spiderweb on a stick. Now I want the sun. The sun? Yes. Lower the sun out of the sky and place it in this cup. Oh, well that sounds impossible. Anything is possible if you set your mind to it right. But be sure, the sun is setting soon and... Oh, yeah, that's it! See, that old sun's going right down into this cup. You have figured it out, and I thought you might give up. Give up? I'll never give up. I just gotta wait. <coughs> Just gotta wait. Yes. Sit there and hold cool. and Feed the lantern. No. 
I suppose, after all these years, you just don't care for her. You hold your tongue. Do not speak of my daughter. She would not wish this. Come, let's get you free. Yeah! I'm only trying to help you, Woodsman. I told you to hold your tongue! Yeah! <laughs> I thought you were gone. <coughs> oh, jeez. The leaves are even growing inside of him. No, I was just eating leaves. We're... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, Greg. It's my fault. It's been my fault this whole time. I should have been no. better at it. I need my rock facts, rock. What? I stole it, Work. I stole it from Miss Daniel's garden. I'm a stealer. And that's a that doesn't matter anymore, Greg. It does matter. I have to return it from you, You can give it to her yourself. Uh, we have to get Jason Funderburger back home, right? Jason Funderburger. It's the perfect frog name. Greg? Come on, let's Greg. get him out of this. Let's yeah. get him out of this. Come on. It's gonna be fine. Oh. Give me my lantern. Your lantern? No way, we need this thing! Yeah, I'm keeping this. I need to get my brother home. Your brother is too weak to go home. He will soon be a part of my force. I won't let that happen! Well, perhaps you better make a deal. Deal? I can put his spirit in it. As long as it stays lit, he will live on inside. Take on the task of lantern bearer, or watch your brother perish. Come here. Okay. What? Wait, that's dumb. What? It's dumb. I'm not just gonna wander around the woods for the rest of my life. I'm trying to help you. You're not trying to help me. You should have some weird obsession with keeping this lantern lit. It's almost as if your soul is in the lantern. Or are you ready to face true darkness? Uh, or... <clears throat> Are you... <gasps> don't! Don't! Huh. Here, Woodsman. I've got my own problems. This one's yours. My brother and I are going home. in the lantern, was she, beast? Listen, woodsman, listen! All who perish here will become trees for the lantern. Go cut them down! Now! Now! No! Woodsman, you don't want to go back to that empty house, do you? Woodsman! No! I guess this is 
survive? I guess it is. So the boys had finally made it back home. They awoke in a river just down from that train track that had almost gotten them killed, and their friends rushed them to the hospital where they were able to make a full recovery. Soon, the boys were able to retell their tale of adventure in the unknown. Our frog. Our frog. Our frog. No, not your frog. <laughs> hey, Bert. Um, I wanted to ask you about this. Oh. I don't, I don't have a tape player, and I was just wondering if we could listen. We to can it. listen to it at my house. Yes. Oh. Uh, but maybe we should listen to some other tapes first. Kind of work our way up to this one. This one's a little bit. I mean, we can listen to it if you want to, but I'll shut up now. <laughs> and so the story is complete, and everyone is satisfied with the ending, and so on and so forth. And yet, over the garden wall. Led through the mist by the milk light of moon, all that was lost is
old black train a-coming Scraping along the iron You don't need no ticket, boys It'll take you when it's time Oh, come on now, young strangers Weren't you someone's son? How'd you find this depot? Cause it ain't where you belong Pass a graveyard, stones worn by the years. The train will stop a minute, but don't let it leave you here. Well, the coachman is my brother, the engineer is my friend. He'll get you more acquainted by the time you reach the end. This journey is a long one, it'll take you all around Life rushing by your windows before it lays you down Now where this old train's going, you can't come back from Leave your baggage here because we'll need it when you're gone